And with strong winds reaching as high as 60 miles per hour, Consumers Energy is preparing for potential power outages. And while there are not many outages around West Michigan right now, we wanted to talk with the company about the plans in place right now. Joining us live is from the Storm Prep team, Josh Pachorek with Consumers Energy. Josh, good morning to you. How are things looking for you guys? Good morning. Thanks for having me on. So uh, the system held up overnight, but we're really watching today to be the worst of the storm, like you all were mentioning. We could see anywhere um, anywhere from 40 to 50 mile an hour uh, uh, peak wind gusts in most parts of the state. Um, some areas will get up to 60 mile an hour wind gusts, and that can really cause damage, uh, widespread damage, uh, uprooting trees, knocking trees over on the power lines and causing power outages. So we've been preparing all week. We have our crews pre-staged. We have them ready. Trucks are stocked. Materials are set and ready to go. And we'll be ready to work through the nights and uh, through the uh, upcoming Christmas holiday to get the power back on as quickly as possible for any customers that are impacted by this winter storm. Obviously, this storm is impacting people all across the state. How will you guys respond if there are multiple outages across Michigan? That's a great question. So uh, we have literally hundreds of team members uh, ready to go to assist with any restoration efforts. We have crews pre-staged in different parts of the state. Um, uh, we're expecting, uh, we're planning for the worst, worst case scenario. Uh, and that includes some widespread, widespread damage across the entire lower uh, peninsula. The frigid temperatures mean power outages could have a significant impact on everyone. What are some ways people can stay warm in their homes even without power? Well, one of the things that Consumers Energy has been doing this week is we're trying to uh, get the word out about if you need a warming center, if you lose power at your home and you need a warming center, 211 is a free service provided by the United Way. Call 211 and they can connect you with, to a warming center in your local community. We're also working in close contact with our local emergency management officials um, and our local warming centers. So if in case those warming centers lose power, we're going to elevate those, escalate those situations to try to get the power restored to those locations uh, among the first uh among the first in the power restoration line. Um, another good tip to have uh, to keep in mind, have an emergency kit ready. Uh, in, as part of your emergency kit, in addition to flash flashlights, batteries, uh, a battery powered radio, make sure you also have some extra blankets. Um, one blanket for everybody in, in your home, including your pets. Um, we really wanna make sure our priority in a storm like this is to make sure that our crews stay safe and our customers stay safe. Be safe out there. Josh, thank you so much for joining us this morning.